One day, a man disappeared. In a dream, from the horror anthology Fuan no Tane. I hope you enjoy this chilling tale today, guys. And if you do, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. That man's remains were separated into burlap sacks and simply placed in the corner of his room. The bags were soaked in crimson red blood, which seeped through, leaving a residue on the carpet. There were no signs of struggle at the scene. The police suspected that the motive was more likely to be revenge than theft. When one of the man's acquaintances was questioned, they received a strange statement. I wish, I wish I had asked him about this more seriously. He was so afraid. He was afraid? Of what? Of, of a dream. Huh? Yes, a dream. It seemed like as if he had almost had it every single night. It always took place at his childhood home. At the bottom of the stairs was the entrance, and it was open. And outside of the entrance, there stood a person. You would think, huh? Looks like he's trying to come in. And then, he would notice the man was holding a long object that looked much like a ruler, standing like he was ready to ambush him. But then, even in the middle of the dream, he would start feeling drowsy. And slowly, his eyes... Suddenly... He would come back to his senses and return his attention to the man. He described the hairy legs and the sneakers that he wore. This same dream, it would repeat, and each time, that man would gradually, little by little, until, finally, He would always wake up in the nick of time. <sighs> and at that moment, without fail, he would look over and he would be filled with the feeling that someone was there. This feeling filled the room. If he made it all the way up the stairs before I woke up, what would happen to me? The man thought. We never really took each other too seriously. And even though I could tell that he was really frightened, he always just laughed. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you for your cooperation. Uh, yeah, sure. If there's anything else, please do not hesitate to contact us. Uh, yeah, sure. Huh? N n n no. N no way. That hairy leg. I couldn't believe my eyes. It was the one. The one that was described in the dream. Now, if you'll excuse us. The door shut. It, it, it was him. And so, outside that man's private unit, there was a lingering shadow. 1989, Adachi Ward. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this story. I'd like to give a special thanks to my Patreons, Sarah DeJesus, Motosurf, 
and Noah D. Thank you very much. I hope you all are having a great night. And remember, you're important and you matter. Goodbye.